In today's video, I'm going to be taking the team with the worst record in the NBA and making them into the best record. And hopefully win a championship with that same team. It's going to be a tough rebuilding challenge, but hopefully you can get it done. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So here we are in 2K. We did a fantasy draft, so that's why every team's going to be randomized here. So LeBron's in Milwaukee. So yeah, let's just simulate this whole season and see the worst team is. So Giannis actually wins the MVP over Luka. Interesting. Paolo is the rookie of the year still. Markel Fultz, sixth man of the year. So yeah, let's go ahead. The Warriors and the Bucks are the one seed. It's kind of funny because they definitely are two of the best teams in their conferences. But let's see the worst team in all of basketball was. It was just barely the OKC Thunder and the Rockets. So these are two teams that are bad in real life. That's, that is kind of strange. But the Rockets have, let's check it out. Cade Cunningham, Kawhi. They have Kawhi in their worst team. Okay, this might be pretty easy to be honest. Cade, Shaden Sharp. And what if they get Victor? If they get Victor and they have so many picks, I mean, actually, we don't have the Thunder's picks, obviously. A lot of young talent on this roster. I'm excited to rebuild this team. Let's see who wins the finals. Pelicans are Pelicans versus Raptors, and Ja wins down the Pelicans. Okay. So, draft lottery is going to be very important. If we get Victor, man, I'm going to be very happy. We have number one ounce Victor, and we get the fifth pick. I mean, can't be too mad. We got Cade Cunningham, so. I like this team. Also, I'm not going to make any of the moves. So, like, I'm not going to draft. I'm not going to sign any people. They're just going to have to do it themselves. So, check it out. So, we ended up drafting... Who? Who did we draft? GG Jackson. Okay. They, they changed his name to Gregory. I guess he's not going to buy GG anymore. Okay. Interesting. So, yeah, we still have a lot of young talent. We also signed Malik Blees, who looks like in free agency, for a pretty nice contract there, it seems. So, do we want to trade Cade? Like, I don't think so. Low key. Like, or we could just trade him for, I like, guess, superstar. Let's see what Cade could get us just to, you know, we got to evaluate the market. Tyrese Maxey and Vanderbilt would be pretty good. We could get Halliburton and Gaffer as a nice backup center. I mean, they're really similar players, Cade and Halliburton. Lamelo Ball. That might be interesting. I feel like we should, would just keep Cade at that point. It's like they're really similar players again. I think we're actually going to end up keeping Cade, but maybe even switch Kawhi Leonard with someone else. I mean, actually, you know what? I think I might just keep my top two players because, you know, we could probably just rebuild the rest of the roster around them. AJ Griffin's already up to a 79 overall. That's pretty good, actually, but we do have Kawhi, so I'm not sure if we get much huge out of him. We don't have any, like, big contracts. We must have a lot of cap space on our roster. I want to be doing this trade to get Bobol and Zubak on the team, so pretty nice upgrade there. And for now, here's our roster. Um, Cade, Sharp, Kawhi, Bobol, Wendell Carter with a nice solid bench as well. So I'm actually liking this team. I think I want to try to package Shaden Sharp with somebody to get like a star at the shooting guard. Yeah, he has a lot of value, so this might be really good. We're going to be signing Mo Wagner for the mid-level exception just to get someone else to trade because we need some money to be built up here because like look at our team. Like we only have like one big contract player. So I think I'm going to try to pay, package Sharp, Zubak, and uh, Wagner. And see what that can get us. There's only two offers, but one of them is Lonzo Ball. It's gonna be taking this deal for Bones and Lonzo Ball. We didn't even trade our pick yet. I forgot about that. And we still have our, a rookie on our roster, so we could actually make a really big move here. We're trying to get Robert Williams on the team here without giving up that rookie just yet. But we'll be able to, and we do. So we get two picks. Watford and um, our current center Wendell Carter for Robert Williams and now we can we can literally put G Jackson we can trade Gigi Jackson with someone else and get like a power forward and our team is going to be elite problem is we don't have like a lot of cap space like people making a lot of money on our team so it's going to have to be multiple people unless we want to trade one of our best players our players in our starting lineup which like these two players in our starting lineup are making like barely any money so it's not even point to trade them like, how do we not have more room to sign someone in free agency? I'm kind of confused by that. Yeah, it's not going to be possible. We're so close. Actually, it might be possible to take this trade, but I don't think they're going to. We have to do our next player, Mark Williams. Actually, yeah, it's not going to be possible because they don't have anyone making. Like, these guys you can't trade. That's annoying, bro. Evan Mobley, I don't think he's even gettable. Scotty Barnes, he's probably not gettable either. So bonus at the four wouldn't be too bad. This would work. I think they can actually give us a pick because I feel like we're getting up a little bit too much. Maybe not. Oh, they have a really highly valuable pick. Um, what about just like a future one? We're not interested in the trade. What if we threw in a couple seconds for you? For your compensation. Yep, three seconds gets it done. So we get a first round pick and we get some bonus on the roster. So look at this team. We didn't even give up Bobo. So Lonzo, Cade, Kawhi, Sabonis, Robert Williams, Bones, Bowl. There's need a couple more players on the bench here. And that's why we recorded those picks. We can then now trade those picks and these other players to get like another solid guy off the bench. 
We're gonna be doing this try to get Spencer Dinwiddie. He's not safe from this team though because he actually is making 10 mils. So that's actually a lot for someone <laughs> of our roster right now. So yeah, we're gonna get Herb Jones and Malik Monk on the team. So now let's see what we have. We can put Herb Jones at the three then, and then I think our roster is actually almost built. And you know what? I think I'm doing this trade to get Lloyd Market in instead of Sabonis. And then that way we have Thomas Bryant as a backup center, and that's gonna be it. All right, here's the final roster, at least for now. And we're gonna go to the deadline and see where we're at, but hopefully we can win some games here. It's not starting out very hot, but we'll see at the deadline. At the deadline, we are 35 and 20. I mean, it's not bad, but I think I kind of want to trade Kate. I'm gonna be real. I feel like Kate doesn't contribute to winning as much as he should in this game. Um, but look at this team. I mean, how are we not winning games? Everyone in above in our third lineup is above 86, 290s, and our bench is very, very good. Like, I don't understand this. Although we are starting to win a lot more, so I don't know. I'll check the standings out to make sure. Where are the six seeds? The Bucks with LeBron and Simmons and Benedict Matt. It seems like I'm not good. Come on. You know, let's just ride out. Like, these trade offers are not that great. I have to make my own, and we don't have, like, our contract situation is so weird that, like, we can't trade Cade for a star unless we include one of our other good players, so it's, like, it's tough. Luka wins the MVP this year, of course. He's back at it. Um, yeah, I wish we had Victor, man. We could, we would have just probably played him, honestly. We probably wouldn't even traded him. But let's see, one seed, we didn't, oh my god, we're the two seed. So we failed the challenge. I mean, with the four seed overall, but I feel like this team should have definitely won more games than they did. Like, look at this starting lineup. I and mean, look at the bench. Herb Jones, Bones Highland, Bull Bull, Malik Monk. Let's at least see if we can win this championship, though. Going against the Warriors first round, who they got real quick. Um, they got Jason Tatum, Porzingis, and Simons. This team's only a seven seed. Are you serious? And we went in seven. It was a close series. This team is Zion and Beal, and that's about it. They have Jalen Williams starting at the center. There's no way you should lose a series, right? They had a 2-0 lead, but we got that back in blood. <laughs> oh, goodness. Luka, Tyler Hero, Aiton. Great. This is not ideal here. They've been on a tail recently. It was similar this whole round. And we blew almost both 3-0 lead, but Cade somehow wills us through that game. We're going up against the Bulls. First round, they got Siakam, Tyrese Maxey. I almost made a Maxey trade the deadline for K, basically. I didn't end up doing it though, but this team's all around nice too. And they were a three seed, so they had some close series, but they swept the one, number one seed box. Let's go game by game. We won first game by four, seven points. Game two, we do win that one as well. By two only, Bones Highland off the bench. Game three, they do take that one back in Chicago. And they take another one, are you serious? Cade, 38 points. Now, take game five, though. We're back in the winning column. 41 for Cade, and this could be the elimination game. We do. We win the championship, so where's the championship? I mean, we kind of halfway complete the challenge. I'd say I'd rather prefer a championship than one seed, so it is what it is. That's going to be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy that, make sure you hit the like button and sub. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.